Good morning, Floss Tube. Welcome to my channel, Sherry Stitching Chronicles, where I like to share with you each week what I am stitching on. This channel is not a new channel. I have had videos up on this channel before. I closed this channel out, I think, sometime maybe in March. Uh, just it's sometime in spring of last year. And um, I have had people to contact me asking me to start the channel again. And uh, they were interested in seeing the whips that I had shown on here, uh, any of the progress I have made on those whips, and interested in seeing those done. So, uh, in honor of that, and because I have been asked uh, by quite a few different people, I decided to come back on and start my channel again. Uh, thank you for those who have stayed subscribed to this channel, even though I announced I was closing it. And uh, thank you for anyone who comes and joins me as I release this uh, video and uh, just give, you know, gives me a visit. And if you like what you see, please give this video a like and uh, consider subscribing. Uh, so with uh, that said, I will start to show the whips that I have. Uh, if you have followed me in the past or followed me on Instagram, these you will uh, have seen. I don't think there's really anything um, new that I have to show because I took a long, long break from cross stitching and uh, I have gotten back into it uh, quite a bit more recently and really enjoying it and ready to um, try to finish some of these things that I had started. Uh, so, with that said, I will show the first thing that's on um, my whip uh, pile that I've got. I started this in June of um, 2020. Uh, and it's from the Cross Stitch Gold magazine. What you see there in front of you um, by the harbor. And we'll open this up. I should have had this marked. I'm sorry. Okay. So here is the picture of it in the magazine. It's really colorful and uh, vibrant and I chose this I think like a lot of people did in 2020 because of that uh, I wanted something with just bold colors bright and sunny and fun and this was what spoke to me so I started this like I said in June 2020 uh, let me show the designer. I always like to show the designer. So there's the, de uh, the designer. And I think I actually ended up doing, starting this like twice. Maybe because the first fabric I started it on, I wasn't very happy with. And then I think I started it again on, um, a white fabric, uh, an Ada, an Ada cloth, and I didn't like that. And so then I started it again on a 14 count sky blue Ada. And I really like the colors in this, uh, how they pop off of this. So this was a piece I was challenged by uh, from Laura Stitcher on Instagram. If you all do not follow her, go check her out. 
uh, she is, was doing a 30 minute a day challenge for, I think she, I think she was picking a project where she uh, put her focus on 30 minutes a day uh, for January. And then she was going to pick another project that she focused on for 30 minutes a day in February. So she challenged me to do that with her. And uh, I, so I started doing my 30 minutes a day on this piece. And uh, I have been uh, pretty sick, so some days I haven't made, uh, but as soon as I get kind of strained out, I will be working on this for my 30 minutes. But here we are now with By the Harbor. So, uh, I'm over here, I call this like a little coffee shop or something because there's a like an, a table there that's not really stitched yet, but uh, it's got an umbrella and chairs that I have to stitch in there. And so that is where I'm at with this piece. And just for, um, I should have kept this open. Uh, just to show you in this where I'm at, it's in this section over here on the project. So, and normally I don't like stitching uh, projects that have people. You know, I don't know why. I don't. Uh, and but i really like this uh we went to uh on a beach vacation in november and i did not take this with me to work on i actually did not get to work on any cross stitch that whole week but i would go out of the morning uh before this before the uh, sun was rising it was still a little dark outside and there would be people out already combing the beach for seashells, uh, people walking their dogs, people um, jogging, you know, doing sorts, all sorts of exercise, or people taking pictures of the sunrise. And we were pretty uh, high up. Uh, and so I could just look down from the balcony on people wandering the beach early in the morning and it made me think of this project and I was sad I didn't have it with me. So now I look at this a little differently when um, I see the people moving around. I think about our vacation. So I am really enjoying working on this again. Uh, thank you to Laura for pushing me to uh, get started. Uh, this is a fun piece to work on. Okay, the next, um, the next project I have that was not finished when I did my channel before uh, was this one. It's from uh, Leisure Arts Magazine, and I'm sorry to show you something that's probably not going to be easy to find if you wanted to do this project, but uh, this is one that I had started when I was doing my channel uh, and didn't finish. <laughs> so this is uh, next on my priority list to get done. There they have it in a, done in a tray. So, here is my progress. There's a string hanging out, so just overlook that. But that's the progress I have on that uh, particular project. Um, I almost started this over again because all of this right here I did in full cross stitches and it was supposed to be half stitches. 
so it may get a little bulky in this area, but um, I've decided that it's it's good enough the way it is. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to start it over. I like it on this fabric. This is a 14 count uh, vintage country mocha. So I am just going to go with it and uh, finish it as is. So those are two of my uh, priorities to get done. Um, the next project, let's see, give me just one second, I've misplaced, okay. The next project I had started when I was doing this channel was um, this piece by Design Works. It's, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but different uh, types of coffee. Let me look here. Coffee Break is the name of it. So I had started this. I really like it. But I did not get very far on it. There's where I am. Right there. So uh, I think what I'm going to do with this is try to give it like one day a week that I work on uh, maybe just this and try to move along getting those uh, different squares done uh, for the different types of coffee and things. Because I have a companion piece to this that I won't start until I am done. And that is um, this one from Design Works. And it's all about tea. So I think this one is called, is there a name on it? I don't see a name. Uh, but I do want to do this one when I get done with coffee break. So this is uh, one of my um, priorities also to get done. A lot of people liked that one too. So these three that I have shown, um, there was a lot of interest in those. And I have a few more things that I will show that's not necessarily on the priority list right now, but will be uh, as I get these done. And then I will move to the next uh, whip. So I am going to take a break for just a second and move some things around and I'll be right back. Okay, the next uh, whip, work in progress for anyone who's new to cross stitch, I should have mentioned that earlier in the video, uh, comes from this book, The Romance of Paula Vaughn. Uh, if this is a project that you would be interested in, uh, you can usually find these at your local library. Uh, might could find it on Amazon or something like that. Uh, but I have had this book for quite a few years. I'm thinking someone gave it to me as a gift because I liked uh, Paula Vaughn's uh, artwork, which was converted into cross stitch. So the project that I am working on is this one called Gentle Pastime. And I loved this to have for spring. That was why I had originally started it. And so I did this on a 14 count, I think this is an oatmeal Ada. And this was my progress. That's all the progress I got. Mm -hmm. So, I want to uh, finish this at some point uh, during the year 
and because I think it will be beautiful. Uh, but like I said, it's probably one of the ones I'll move to when I get some of these other whips done. So that is uh, my project from Paula Vaughn's artwork. And the other thing I forgot to mention is I'm going to have a problem doing this, uh, finishing it, because I know I changed some of the colors of the green down here, and I didn't write down what I changed the colors to. So uh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem, but I think I may try to work with that anyhow and see what I can do uh, to fix to fix that. Uh, we'll see as I get to it. I've got some time to figure it out. Okay, the next um, whip I have, this would not take long to do at all. Uh, it's probably, a, uh, definitely a more simple whip than the other ones I have shown because those are a lot of confetti stitching and back stitching and all of that. And but this one is from Little House Needleworks. It's called the Inn at Fox River Mill. That's what it looks like. And I did this on, looks like a 16 count Ada, an oatmeal Ada. And this is the progress I have on it. So not very much, but if I got to it, I could get it done. So it's the, this tree right here. So definitely that's very doable. So uh, that may be one I will take with me when I'm in the car, excuse me. <coughs> <clears throat> I think I need to pause. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, but as I was saying, I think this one would be one that I would take with me as I'm in the car, uh, traveling with my husband or something like that. I think it would be a good project for that because there's not so much uh, confetti stitching or back stitching involved in it. So I do have other whips. Uh, that I started when I was doing this channel, but I'm going to hold off on showing those and I'm going to show you something that I am definitely planning on starting soon just because uh, it's simple and it's something that I could do like with the Fox at uh, the Fox, the Ed at Fox River Mill. I can take these pieces to travel with or to just work on what I want to do, so uh, stress, uh, just what I want to do stress-free stitching, which that sounds weird to say because we cross-stitch for the joy of it, but what I want to just stitch without having to worry about concentrating so much. I guess it's a better way to put it. So this is called uh, Secret Beach from the Trilogy. I want to start this one and it's just a small piece I think it's yeah it's 64 wide by 64 high so I plan on starting this soon because I just think it would be fun to work on and another one I would like to start it's bigger but uh, it doesn't have so much detailed stitching in it. It's from the Cross Stitcher magazine. And it is what you see there on the front. This piece, I will show it a better look. It's, I think they're calling it Sweet Summer Time. And it's got all these uh, summer motifs. So I want to start this 
uh, it just makes it along with uh, the work, my first three projects that I showed. So I am thinking about maybe moving this around a little bit to where I leave out the words. I don't know. Uh, I would rather just have the motifs in it. So I'll have to decide on that, but that's what that one looks like. So <laughs> that is a uh, kind of a quick uh, update on my whips, where they are now. Uh, not very much farther along than those of you that have been with me than when you saw them before. So uh, I will be working on uh, By the Harbor and uh, Signs of Fall Coffee Break. And then I'm going to start on either this one or Secret Beach. I'm not sure which. Uh, so I plan on trying to do my videos each uh, Wednesday like I did before. So uh, I know this is my day, so I won't put another video out until next Wednesday. And uh, I hope that everyone has a good week. Uh, you know, let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. Uh, I think I will do my videos on Mondays. Since this is my day, I'll do you know, the, the start of the work week and everything. Uh, we'll uh, say I'll release a video on Mondays. So I will plan to have a video uh, for next Monday. We'll see how it goes for every week. I may have to move to every two weeks, we'll see. But uh, with this channel, I would love to do a, week, a weekly video like I did before. So we'll, we'll see after next Monday and go from there. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for anyone visiting, just dropping by for a visit. Uh, if you like what you have seen, uh, give this video a like and consider subscribing. And, I would love to get to know you all. Uh, I do have an Instagram. It's Sherry Stitching Chronicles. So if you would uh, like to follow me on Instagram, you can find me there. And uh, until next Monday, I hope everyone has a wonderful week, that everyone stays healthy, or if you're having health issues, that you will uh, regain your health. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you next week, Lord willing. Bye, everyone.